In this video, we're going to solve the system x plus y minus z equals 4, 3x minus y plus 3z equals negative 2, and x plus 2y minus 3z equals 5 using Gaussian elimination. Gaussian elimination is a process to use an augmented matrix and to use elementary row operations to get ones on the diagonal and zeros below it. Once we have it in that form, we'll convert it back to the system and use back substitution to solve for the other variables. We begin by writing our augmented matrix, which is 1, 1, negative 1, 4, 3, negative 1, 3, negative 2, 1, 2, negative 3, 5. We're lucky because we have a 1 in the first row, first column, so now we need to get zeros below that. We can use multiples of other rows and add to a row to get a 0 there. So think about if we need to get a 0 in the place of 3, we would need to add negative 3 to it. And so if we multiply the first row by negative 3 and add it to the second row, we get a 0 there. To get a 0 in the third row, first column, we need to add negative 1 to it. So in a similar fashion, we can multiply the first row by negative 1 and add those entries to row 3, and we'll get what we need in that row. So we're going to do some calculations here. And we are going to do negative 3 times row 1 and add it to row 2 and replace row 2 with those entries. And then we're going to also do negative 1 times row 1, add it to row 3, and replace row 3 with those entries. So our first row stays 1, 1, negative 1, 4. I'm going to add some numbers above our first row, showing this operation, and it helps do the calculations, otherwise we have to store a lot of numbers in our head. So when I multiply row 1 by negative 3, I'm going to get a negative 3, negative 3, positive 3, and negative 12. And now I'm going to add those entries to the entries in row 2. Negative 3 plus 3 is 0. Negative 3 plus negative 1 is negative 4. 3 plus 3 is 6, and negative 12 plus negative 2 is negative 14. Now I need to do negative 1 times row 1 and add those entries to row 3. So negative 1 times row 1, I'm going to cross this out for a minute. Negative 1 times row 1 is negative 1, negative 1, positive 1, and negative 4. Adding those to row 3, negative 1 plus 1 is 0. Negative 1 plus 2 is 1. 1 plus negative 3 is negative 2. And negative 4 plus 5 is 1. So now we have the 1 leading in the first row. We have zeros below it. Now I need to get a 1 in the second column, second row. Well look, row 3 has a 1 in that position, so now I'm just going to interchange rows 2 and row 3. So my new matrix is going to be 1, 1, negative 1, 4, 0, 1, negative 2, 1, 0, negative 4, 6, and negative 14. So there I interchange row 3 with row 2. So now I have a 1 in the first row, first column, and zeros below it. I have a 1 in the second row, second column, and now I need to get a 0 below it. Well, to get a 0 in this position, I need to add 4 to negative 4. And so we can... Now multiply row 
2 by 4 and add it to row 3. So if I want to do 4 times row 2 plus row 3, and that's going to replace row 3. So what's 4 times row 2? So 4 times 0 is 0. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 2 is negative 8. And 4 times 1 is 4. Add those entries now to row 3. So 0 plus 0 is 0. 4 plus negative 4 is 0. Negative 8 plus 6 is negative 2. And 4 plus negative 14 is negative 10. So we're almost there. Have a 1 and zeros below it, 1 and a 0 below it. So now I need to get a 1 in the third row, third column. And to do that, I'm going to multiply the third row by negative 1 half. And so negative 1 half times 0 is 0. Negative 1 half times 0 is 0. Negative 1 half times negative 2 is 1. And negative 1 half times negative 10 is 5. Now I have it in the Gaussian elimination form, the row reduced form. I can convert it to my system, which is x plus y minus z equals 4. 0x, so I don't need that, plus y, or y minus 2z is equal to 1. And 0 plus 0 plus z is equal to 5. The benefit of this is now I know the value of z. And now I can back substitute that to figure out what y is equal to. y minus 2 times z, or y minus 2 times 5 is equal to 1. So y minus 10 is equal to 1 or y is equal to 11. Now I know z and y, so I can find x by saying x plus 11 minus 5 is equal to 4. This is x plus 6 is equal to 4, so subtracting 6 I get x is equal to negative 2. So the solution of this system is the order triple negative 2 11 and 5, and I could plug those in into each of the equations to see that I get a true statement.